Cover Bridge Festival brings thousands of people from all over the country to Park County, but that also brings in increased numbers for accidents and crime. News 10's Garrett Brown visited the festival today on its sixth day. He joins us now live from Rockville. What he learned about this year's safety is now new for you at five. Garrett. Yes, Susie, each year is projected a million people turn up to Park County to take part in the 10 day festival. The Park County Sheriff's Office says this year has been one of the best compared to previous years in terms of dangerous activities. Right off the Rockville Town Square, Bonnie Boyd sells her homemade jewelry. For 11 years, she has been doing this. One thing she says stays the same is the visitors on the road. For the majority, they do go to the corner lights and even wait for those to turn to the walking. Occasionally, you'll see someone um, crossing, but they're real good about looking for um, a break in the traffic. With yard sales left and right, crossing traffic continues to be the biggest issue with the Park County deputies. But this year, there has been a decrease when it comes to these accidents. Pedestrian safety is what we're stressing. We've had two reports so far this year, pedestrians struck in Mansfield and Bridgeton. So we just urge everybody just to be a little more observant than what you normally may be. The Sheriff's Office also says it has seen a large decrease when it comes to counterfeit money floating around with the only case so far being here in Rockville. Seems to be doing better than compared to last year. The counterfeit money reports have been down. I think we've had one report of counterfeit $50 bills this year so far. Many of these issues may never fully go away, but these local vendors just hope their customers will use extra caution while enjoying their visit. Just watch where you're going and watch for the cars. And But yeah, just safety first. Now, the Park County Sheriff's Office does say arrest numbers are higher this year, but not all those are related to the Bridge Festival. Coming up at the top of the hour, I'll have more on their efforts to keep everyone safe in the upcoming last four days of the festival. Reporting live in Rockville, I'm News 10's Garrett Brown. Back to you.